You got back up. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Crossout. Today I have a pretty exciting build for you. This is something that's pretty much based on uh, one of the designs in the last episode by Sergi Surge. Uh, I tried making something like this before and it turned out pretty well. I did a, did really good. It was called the Shredder. And that and this is something kind of similar to that. It's a little bit different. It's using a different cabin, I believe. I'm using the sledgehammer shotguns. I don't have access to the um, Thunderbolt ones, and I can't buy them, I can't get them uh, through factions or whatever, because it's not allowed for promo accounts, and, uh, in order to, you know, get it on the other account, I'd have to grind quite a bit, and I am grinding a lot, but it's not for the Thunderbolt shotguns. Um, it's unfortunate, because I can't really show off everything in the game, and I would really like to show you guys everything that, uh, so, so you don't, you know, so that you know what to buy, and that's kind of like what I really desire to do but I don't have the ability to do that and so yeah this is uh these are sh sh uh, sledgehammer shotguns still pretty good pretty powerful I think the difference is the rate of fire um I think this build will do okay I'm not entirely sure and I could probably beef it up even more by doing something like that actually let me just do that real fast uh, the plows can take quite a bit of damage which is really nice in and of itself but I want to add just a little bit more protection. I might have to take the plow. Uh, just a little bit more protection here to the front. So that in case they do get blown off, I don't have to uh, worry about the rest of the vehicle. The cabin specifically getting annihilated. And I am using the uh, the, fl the flame paint job. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks really cool. So anyway, uh, this is the thing is really fast. It's really quick. It's, uh, you know, it's got those two sh shotguns that do quite a bit of damage. I've got blades on the front and the sides. And the cool thing about the sides is that it basically prevents ramming. It's additional armor, and it's, it's pretty decent. Uh, make sure to, you know, thumbs up the video if you like it and subscribe if you're new. So let's go ahead and hop right into a battle and see what this thing's all about. All right, here we go. So the goal of this thing is to obviously be quick, you know, flank around, attack like that. I don't know if I can do it on this map. That D-Man guy, 741 up there, he has four pirate launchers, and they're like homing single-shot launchers, and uh, but he's got four of them. And so uh, I'm sure that he, he, did, he got like two kills last match, so I'm sure that he's going to probably be camping and he's got very weak armor and so it would be nice yeah I see ya it would be nice to uh, get that guy I mean he's got canvas roof plating siding which is like weak weak sauce okay I don't know if I can I don't know if I can do much here trying to attack these guys who are Blanking around and stuff. There he is, right there. Can't can I hit this guy? Forty-nine. Okay, he just jacked me. He's got a cannon. I'm gonna try to. Uh, Cause there's another guy back there. Oh, he's dead. Okay, dang it. I was gonna I was gonna try to. Uh, Get around, but then you had to worry about this guy back here. I think I'm fast enough though to avoid everybody. Oh, I'm hit. I'm something is hitting on my car. It's screwing me up big time. Take his gun, please. Take his gun. Take his gun off, please. Do not let this guy. Cannon you. Good thing I backed up there. Here's Kenneth. This is an AI. But he's actually doing quite a bit of damage to me because he's hitting me with those machine guns. He's the last guy though, so. All I gotta do is hit that thing down there. Dang it, man. I'm hitting. Something is 
hitting the ground. I might have to revamp something here. Dude, okay, Kenneth, we get it. You've got a pretty beastly vehicle here. This is an AI, right? Victory. Oh my gosh, I almost just died. Fighting a freaking AI. Let me see. Uh, I got a problem. Something is hitting. Low riding, hitting. I wonder if it's because of these are upside down. I don't know if that matters. I, or maybe it's just because it is a low rider, then that's just what we're gonna we're gonna wind up dealing with. We got like I like that right there. That covers the wheels, man. That's kind of nice. Um, is there any? Are, is there anything else that we could use instead of those? Now that that's screwed up, um, maybe we'll just keep them. I think it's just because it's just a low rider that's bound to happen. I wish I had the freaking Thunderbolt shotguns, man. These things are just so. Ah. I like them, but they're not as good as I. They're not as good as those other ones. Like, nowhere near as good. Man. Okay, here we go. We're on probably one of my least favorite maps for a build like this because it is uh, completely kind of, you know, very tight corridors. And, uh, you know, at first glance, going that way seems like the better way to go. But if anyone else goes that way, you're screwed. Now I did put uh, two more two more wheels on. I did uh, change out some of the side plating for some of the uh, explosive stuff so that I can actually withstand some shots and whatnot. All right, man, I'm letting you go here. Let's do this. Waiting on you, bro. Matthew, okay. Well, let's see if there's anybody else. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Two guys, two guys, one one camping, one camping. Trying to push this guy so he won't do that again. He's backing up. Uh, we've got three guys right here right now. I'm fast enough to probably be able to get away and flank maybe. Guy down in the water Isabella one of the AI base is being capped but Nikki okay it was an AI Just come on keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving keep moving get the gun get the gun get the gun get the gun we got back up Yes, he, da he damaged to himself by shooting like that. Dude, get wrecked, dude. Dude, I love this build. It's so much fun to play. It's definitely way better than sitting back and camping and stuff. Yeah, this build is a lot of fun to play, man. Nice. We didn't do that well, but we did help our team out quite a bit. Okay, this is the perfect map for this kind of build because what happens is there's enough places where you can sneak around and flank around areas, but what happens is there's always players who sit and snipe and camp. And so if you can rush those guys and get their guns off, you can easily kill them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, and I think we saw that in the last video too, in the, when the 100, oh, it wasn't the last video, it was two videos ago, the 100 millimeter video where I was talking about it and then it happened. Oh gosh. Run! Get to teammates, get to teammates, get to teammates. Keep going, we're good, we're good. We're good, you're good. Force him into a battle here. Oh my gosh, everyone went this way. Everybody, both teams. I've never seen this before. I've never seen both teams swarm one area before. This guy's almost dead. Oh, my team's dead. My team's dead. I'm the only one left. Oh my gosh. Bad mistake. Bad mistake. What the heck? All of my team died right there. I hope there's someone capping. Dude. I should have just ran and tried to flank or something. 
Wow, man, that was horrible. Horrible. This guy's got a sweet looking build. Wow, that was just nuts, man. We are gonna lose this match. We've gotta wait and see what happens. But I definitely think we're... Well, we might cap it if the AI stays in the cap. I hope they do. This guy's dead. The whole team went that way. Everybody from both teams. That's just crazy. Stay in there, Alexis. Win us this round. They're, they might be rushing. They might be rushing the uh, cap, though. She's almost dead, though. Yeah. Oh, we could do this, though. But if somebody comes over that perch right there, she's done for. We might be able to do this. I don't think so, though. 80. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Alexis. Come on. She's got no guns or anything. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we're going to win it. We're going to win it thanks to the bot. <laughs> the bot won it for us. Oh, that's so funny. Wow. They totally annihilated us too, but we won. That's great. Okay, another similar map. Uh, hopefully this time we don't run into the entire team. <laughs> this one is always confusing to me where people go. Because there's this center area, but sometimes people never go in here. And it seems like this is where people would be, but it's not. It's so It's so interesting. Okay, this guy's got an interesting looking build. I love the flames. It just makes the vehicle look so cool, I think. You know, obviously there's a time when it's too much flames. This is the map I was thinking of. That has all the flanking. Oh my gosh. Please let that all be AI. There's one guy I don't think is AI. Yep. Two guys. Dang it. Why do I always run into at least two guys? Why can't I ever not... Why can't I ever just f go by myself? Both of my guns are gone. Gosh, dang it. How... How do people keep their guns on so long with these builds? They just fall off. Okay, best thing I can do is go try to cap. Seriously, how do people keep their guns on so long with these builds? Everything's so lightweight, it just they just pop off. Everything does. I my protection for my guns just is gone. Immediately. This map is kind of small though, so Oh no, Alexis. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to survive this. No way. No way, no chance, no how. Not a not a chance at all. Someone's gonna pop over that perch right there and shoot me with a cannon. It's only a matter of time. And if I keep donating. Donuts, baby. Devil Dragon carrying the team. Carious Dragon. While I sit and try to cap. Which might actually happen. I highly doubt it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he popped over without falling off, without flipping. Dang it, you and your M. Wow, that guy is fast. Dude, dude, with this MGs. Okay, 30 seconds. So if if this guy can last 30 seconds. We win. Dude, focus up, bro. Focus up. You're going to win us this match. All you have to do is survive. Just survive, man. 12, 11, 10. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. It's over. Dang it, dude. All you had to do was live. You had, a, you had your cannon left. You could have spun around and shot him. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, see what we can do. I changed a little bit of things. I added a car jack in case I flip over. And uh, that helped my power score a little bit because I has also had to add a generator. And so, uh, I don't know how much is going to affect me. I don't know if it's going to really matter much to, like, the actual gameplay. And I'm also wondering if I should have went the other way and tried to flank those guys. I can still do it, actually. Yeah, but the only, the only thing that's kind of... Uh, 
tricky to get used to with this thing is just the bu it just bumps on everything because it's such a low rider. It bumps on the ground. Yeah, I think that this build would be way, way, way more practical if you had either another sledgehammer shotgun somehow or you had thunderbolt shotguns. I think that's what this kind of build is designed to be like, the thunderbolt shotguns. Because in the current state of things, it just does not really work that well. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, I found the enemy team. Guys, I found them. All I'm doing, all I want to do is look for somebody to flank. What the heck? I just got hit by pyro launchers, I think. Oh, gosh. Team! Okay, yeah, this guy might die. Yeah, we got him. Both of my shotties are still up. Yeah, pyro launchers, look at them. Homing. They're so deadly. They do so much damage. Who's got, who's, oh my gosh. This guy that's got him? Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I gotta, there's, uh, look, they lost one guy. Gotta figure out how to play this thing a little bit better than this, man. Okay. Uh, after that last match, I'm a little concerned that this thing's not gonna be able to do anything, really. Because it doesn't have a lot of armor. It sacrifices a lot of armor for speed. And, uh, the sledgehammer shotguns don't really do all too much for us. I mean, they hit hard, but the rate of fire is kind of wonky. And it messes things up. Okay, no one over here. Might be able to flank those guys. Hopefully. This guy's gonna die. I can never get rams. Never. Look at that damage, though. Up close like that? Whew, that's nice. Our base is being capped. Hide behind this, his teammate here. I got hit by a big gun. I think I just need to keep on the move. Hard to hit me. Look at this guy's got his gun hidden. That's really nice. He's trying to get a shot on me. How did he do that? That's some good skill there, man. He, that was just kind of took a risk. See, I'm just wondering if, if until you get like Thunderbolt shotguns, if like the MGs are the way to go. Because I mean, they just do so much more damage. Like so much more damage. Uh, the well, that's an auto cannon, but still, I mean, it's just consistent rate of fire. Oh, that guy's. That is sweet looking. That's hilarious. Dude, this guy with his freaking buggy pyro launcher build. Four of them. Where are they? Oh, they're right in the front there. They do so much damage. So this guy's just on the move constantly. Wow, that's. I want those things. Holy crap. Okay. So I have swapped out the shotguns for medium machine guns and we'll see how this goes. Now my thought about it is that it will do a lot better because of the fact that it's constant damage. You know, it's got a better DPS I think probably and the rate of fire is way better. It's just a matter of getting close enough to them to make them effective. And so I really need to figure out how to approach these maps with different with different vehicles because as it stands certain vehicles definitely do better on certain certain maps certain vehicle types I should say take a shot a couple shots here while the enemy team is 
Distracted hiding off. There we go. Kill assist. We got this guy that's coming across right now has three medium machine guns. And uh, three medium machine guns and a light machine gun. His build's pretty good. This guy's build keeps getting shredded though. Look at this. Constant damage. Constant damage. Okay, so Fortress or whatever his name is. Fortress is still alive somewhere. It's the same if he fell off. Okay, just avoid him, please. He got his. If this guy kills me upside down, I'm gonna be pissed. He's gonna kill me upside down! The freaking. Dude, he's got so many of them. <laughs> kill me upside down. Ah, man. What the crap, dude? Ah, oh, great. I want those things, dude. I want those so bad. They look so good. Freaking dude killed me upside down, man. That's so dumb. I should have just kept moving. Look at this guy's build. Jeez, man. They have a cooldown, though. He's only got one shot left. Better, better save it, man. You better make him count. I think you have to be looking right at him, though, too, to make him work. Yeah, he's done. He's all out of ammo. Nothing left. That's the only downside about these these types of things no very very limited ammo he is just cruising though you gonna go cap the base got nothing else to do oh this guy is flipped over and so that means that he is done he is dead this match is over dual 88s on this beast look at that back of that thing dang man oh man this thing is challenging to use it's so it gets killed so easily Okay, let's make this count. This is the one right here. This is the match of all matches. This is the the match for the win. The end of the video, maybe, if I win. <laughs> if I don't win, I'm gonna try again because I gotta try to get a good, I gotta try to get a good run, man. At least one or two kills. I, th I, I just think the thing with it is, is that two guys coming, the best, the best thing you can do is probably have those Thunderbolt shotguns for this type of build. Get out of there, dude. Just get out of there, Headliner. Headliner, just run! Okay, we'll, we'll, get a head, we'll get a running start here. Oh, Matthew. Two guys, two guys, oh no, oh no. Robin Weave, Serpentine. Those guys that came around with side and flank too. Look at that damage. Such quick damage. Much wow. Oh! He got me as a peaked. I can't turn, man. I can't turn. I was gonna go. I was gonna say, let's go try to flank him, but like, what flanking am I gonna do? I can't even move. They gotta come out sometime. Is this guy's guns gone? Nope, they are not. But I'm just gonna keep pounding them. He's got him on the sides. 84 friggin' help. No. Okay. I gotta say, this build is not in my playstyle at all. No armor. Uh, I think I think the way to play it is with the Thunderbolt shotguns. Like, look at this right here. This is the Thunderbolt shotgun one. You know, very similar. You can see. But look at the, these things have such a better rate of fire. They just so much better. So much better. I mean, you can see how that right there would completely annihilate somebody. But the build, this build with uh, the stuff that I have is not effective enough. Not effective enough.
I gotta figure out I gotta figure out how to play these builds though, because these are really fun to play. They're so fast. I think it's just a matter of flanking and getting in good positioning and things like that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.